The ongoing housing crisis continues to plague Massachusetts with unaffordable rents and some of the highest housing costs in the country. 22 News State House reporter Ellen Fleming has how the Healy administration plans to tackle this crisis. It won't be an immediate fix, but the Healy administration is looking to invest over $4 billion in a housing bond bill. And today it had a hearing in which members of the administration testified in support of this expansive bill. Back in October, the Healy administration revealed this plan dubbed the Affordable Homes Act. This bill, if passed, would be the largest investment in housing in Massachusetts history. Healy has been committed to housing since her inauguration, in which she addressed the low rate of home ownership in our state. The Affordable Homes Act would create more than 40,000 homes, preserve or fix up 12,000 low-income homes, and invest in development for thousands of other housing units. And no one is doing well, right? No one is comfortable with the cost of housing. There aren't communities that I've come across where they feel like they've got a good uh, handle on this problem. Um, and so I think we're in a full-blown emergency, right? There's a reason that they're doing this bond bill, the biggest bond bill right in history, is that it is absolutely the most important issue for pretty much everybody that you talk to in Massachusetts right now. There are also policy changes within this bill, like giving communities the option of adopting a real estate transfer fee on portions of home sales over $1 million. There is also a portion of the bill which would allow for accessory dwelling units, or ADUs, in single-family zoning districts. Now, House Speaker Ron Mariano has said that his chamber's housing bond bill will exceed the size of the administration's current plan. We're confused at the State House in Boston, Ellen Fleming, 22 News.